hello beautiful souls welcome to your safe place my channel today's reading is going to be about a letter from your future self from now um, in a year a letter from a year after that after right now so i made this for you i wrote channeled letters in them you can choose whatever battle or letter you are drawn to if you feel like you are drawn to more than one deck then you can listen both of them so let me introduce you the decks the letters the battles so this is going to be number one This is going to be number two. And this is going to be number three. And it's also the smallest <laughs> battle. So, you can pause the video and focus on the text. And you can ask yourself, you can ask your higher self, what my future self is telling me in a year then you can listen your reading welcome back pile number one so these are your cards your oracle cards but we are going to choose from this tarot deck also let me talk about the letter first when i was uh, writing this letter for you i channeled to these two cards okay i pick this card first then i just look at the pictures not the meaning <laughs> and then i just wrote whatever is channeling me so Let's begin. Honey, <laughs> your future self uh, wanted to call you as honey. Don't rush things. Right now, everything is happening for a reason. I know, believe me, it's difficult to understand and accept the things we are facing. I believe right now we are facing some kind of difficulties, some kind of obstacles maybe. In a year from now, you will be waking up to hopeful and bright mornings. There is so much to discover. Pile 1. You can see. Here. So, in a year from now, it seems like you are stepping into some changes that um, will make you feel like i want to get up from my bed i want to experience this life i want to see the things as how are they you are waiting for this and i see full moons here maybe the full moons can be important for you And as I see here, you are going into some kind of better phase of your life, you know. Full moon is all about the endings, the conclusions. And after an ending, you can discover a new era of your life. As this card here says, morning, the world awaits you. And we see the fishes here, the fish. And obviously this is a mermaid. <laughs> Maybe you love the mermaids. I don't know. Maybe the fish. And if you are have if you have challenges right now about 
uh, facing your emotions because the water is all about the emotions in symbolism i believe you are going to face your emotions accept them and see the world as it is and here it says in the flow everything is smooth sailing and i believe with the new year you know it's the christmas time with the new year with the uh, january of 2024 you will be learning um accepting the things accepting the difficulties and the beauties at the same way you know if you have anxiety nightmares right now i believe this will pass because your future self is saying don't rush things and if we are rushing things it means we have anxiety we have nightmares i believe right now you are feeling right like um i am late for everything but no you are not late and also if you are feeling like i am late for everything i can't sleep i can't eat i must go i must run i must work your future self says no don't rush things sleep well you know because your well-being is very important in the next year your well-being is so much important and i believe you are also um, having some difficulties with your sleep schedule maybe you sleep too much or maybe you sleep um less you know but not enough and if you have depression you are tend to uh sleep too much and just like i don't want to see my feelings i don't want to see the world and if if, if this is the case it says no please be careful because in a year from now you will be waken up to hopeful and bright mornings and i believe you are going to be so much um, excited about the things um, you will experience in a day you know every day every single day will be important for you now let's see for more messages the tarot cards I just bought this deck and it is the <laughs> first time I am using this in a reading. Number one, pile number one. From a year, from a year from now. What your future self is telling you? The hangman. You know, this is the feeling of um, I don't want to do anything. I don't want to um, make any decisions. Maybe right now you are feeling like a um, victim. A victim in your situations. Nine of Cups. Your wishes come true. The that that is the change that is the transformation and here we see the butterflies can you see butterflies and butterflies is all about the transformation you have patience you will have patience because you will have to and this woman here is like um that woman you know she's like that but she is in peace because she is turning into light she is transforming into a better uh, version of herself and look at this death card it's so much beautiful can you see <laughs> it is beautiful 
it is loyal and um, royal yeah Ace of Pentacles, it's also about the well-being, new decisions, but decisions like um, material that last long, you know, lasts long. And the Ten of Cups, beautiful, just beautiful. And here... We see the four of swords. Yeah, I believe right now you are feeling like everything is boring. Everything is just depressing. I don't want to get up from my bed. <laughs> I don't want to see another day. Every day is like the <laughs> previous one and it's just boring. I don't want to see that. And if you um, have as i said before decisions to make i believe you don't want to do it you are just hanging here hanging here and you feel like i have no control of my life but this says no <laughs> you have you will have but to do this to have this to have all of this uh, you have to change your perception you have to change your perception of your life you have to take control of your life because things will be changed and this Scorpio season I believe is going to be important uh, right now I am uh, recording this video in November and we are at Scorpio season and Scorpio, zodiac so like sign, is about the transformation, to see the truth, like the full moon here, to see the truth, to discover the truth. And your future self here say you there is so much to discover. You must discover yourself, your desires, your fears, your anxieties, your um ideals your targets your goals about life and i believe right now you are just like uh just skip 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 that <laughs> next 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 skip 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 but you must experience you can't um skip life you can't skip a day it is not like a video game you know it's not like the sims <laughs> you can just um click on the uh, speed and like yes days <laughs> will be passed no this is not the real life in real life we must take responsibilities of our lives and we must um, accept our emotions our fears our um, failures you know you cannot just uh, be successful sometimes you are going to fail but it's not a problem you must face it you must accept it and if you don't accept it just like here you will be a hanged man you will be a um, indecisive person no it's not the right way and from a year now your wishes are granted to you with this beautiful nine of cups you are happy you are full of enjoyment you have all the cups you know you have all the cups the nine of cups and here ten of cups you have all the happiness in the world and maybe if uh, right now you are not in a relationship i believe you are going to have some kind of a romantic relationship or a beautiful family maybe some of you are going to marry it you know because here with the ace of pentacles you are making a big decision <laughs> and that decision can be uh, a business an enterprise a marriage maybe even um getting pregnant for some of you hmm 
maybe like here this woman like <laughs> somehow uh, seems like to me a pregnant woman maybe some of you are going to have a child <laughs> and please right now just endure the things and accept them you know because even if you don't want to you are going to be have to this is a must you know this is a must this is a um, rule rule of life you have to change it you have to change yourself you have to change your perception of life and here I see these signs of uh, Pisces Pisces again Scorpio uh, the earth element Pisces again and the Libra maybe these are important for you maybe the seasons maybe the months or maybe even uh, you have these on your birth chart as Sun ascendant moon Venus or uh, Mars I don't know but believe me whatever this situation is this is going to pass because in tarot you can see uh, the hangman is 12 and the death card is 13 and the death comes after the hanged man hangman is like a, a swamp you know the swamp and with the death card you can escape from the swamp but you must learn how to deal with your emotions and how to endure things and not rush things you must learn the patience this is the case and from a year now you will have all of these cups in full pile number one this was your reading i hope you enjoyed the reading if you do please subscribe to my channel uh, you can like the video leave a comment below and maybe share this with your friends your loved ones so take care of yourselves uh, bye welcome back pile number two um, here are your oracle cards we are also going to have cards from the tarot after we read, read the letter and for your letter for um, channeling it I pick these two cards before and I channeled uh, their messages their pictures after I wrote this then I took these two just to <laughs> mention so let's see your message i know you have hesitations nowadays should i begin to do that or this should i take a move and action etc i know all of them however i promise you are going to be successful each of the obstacles will be removed one way or another you just need to start my beautiful uh, you just um, ended the letter with my beautiful <laughs> to yourself and uh, you emphasize the word start with big capitals and here um, I see you have issues with uh, you know the confidence you know the confidence with the confidence and um, I believe um, you have some difficulties with um, begun to something and it may be about something uh, related to your career your money your financial status maybe for some of you can be a relationship also but I believe for the most of you it is uh, about your career your finances maybe um, you are in a phase of um, master degree maybe PhD you know for some of you 
this can be something about academia <laughs> but for some of you it's uh, obviously about the career business opportunities and you are thinking like should I do this should I make an action should I take an action and your virtual serves uh, saying I promise I promise you are going to be successful and these obstacles will be removed from your way here you can see the message overcoming obstacles you can overcome anything and it's the <laughs> obviously a reference to Excalibur the sword of King Arthur maybe uh, you live in England or maybe um, you have some kind of interest in King Arthur's story Gwen, Merlin <laughs> maybe and the bear bird saying you can overcome anything and here also the other message says your potential is endless you can see here three throne maybe you are doing some kind of work with your friends your partners maybe this is a partnership and here we see different uh, kinds of people come together mermaid witch a princess a queen a human being all together from different cultures from different backgrounds and you are saying um, for this year for this one year you must build some kind of boundaries to protect yourself to focus on the thing you are uh, wishing to have you are wishing to achieve and it is I believe all about in your mind you are thinking about this can I do this can I accomplish this it's in my it's in my mind <laughs> it's just the idea but can I do that can I actually uh, bring my ideas to this world as something material and to do that I believe you should uh, hold on to your hope I believe this um, red balloon is like our hope you know it is like our hope because to have patience you must hold on to your hope if you don't have this kind of belief this kind of trust in your destiny in your potential then how can you have patience and after this period of patience i believe and also on um, some kind of a hard work you are going to achieve this like this and oh can you see um this hole this shape is just like <laughs> this stone they are like almost um in similar size you know <laughs> okay now we are going to have some kind tarot cards let's see this is the first time i am using this deck in a reading <laughs> very beautiful deck so pile number two your future self what is your for future self is telling you What are the your messages? Seven of Pentacles. You know, it's it's also about the patience. <laughs> that card again. If you feel like you are drawn to pile number one, you can listen them. I can recommend. Uh, you can listen them. King of Pentacles. Eight of Wands, Justice, yes, it is about some kind of an accomplishment 
an achievement, a success story. I see a success story here. And at the back of the deck, three of wands. You are imagining, you have dreams, you have visions about your um, career, your financial status, maybe <coughs> some of you planning to uh, go abroad, maybe move to another city, move to another country, or even move to another continent for some of you. And here you can see this beautiful red dress. And here we see here a red balloon. <laughs> red is all about our root chakra, you know, root chakra. And root chakra, our first chakra, is also about um, the material things we are rely on. We rely on. These are the sources we must have to survive it's about the survival and as i said before i believe it is uh, about a success story it is a success story and believe me you are going to be successful you will get rid of uh, the unnecessary things in a year and you just uh, will have the necessary, the essentials. Maybe also you can uh, put some boundaries with people and uh, get rid of some people. Yeah, maybe end some kind of uh, relationships with friends, with loved ones, I don't know maybe some uh, toxic relations and with here this that card because that card is not something we should be scared of you know it's about the things uh, they just no longer serve to us they have no meaning they have no use anymore so you are waiting here with the seven of pentacles you have seeds you know you uh, buried them you buried them and now you are waiting for your seeds for your ideas to grow to grow to raise after that You overcome these obstacles, these difficulties with here, with the help of the dead card. Also, um, as I said before, in the pile number one, that card is the um, card of Scorpio. And here we are in the <laughs> season of Scorpio. I am recording this video in November. So I believe this is the time, this is not such a surprise to see that card, to make this reading in that uh, season, in that month. Maybe even in this month, in this November, you are facing with some difficulties and you are like, I just end this, I just cut loose, I just cut uh, these relations with the people that um, I don't think they are good to me. <laughs> and if you can do this, if you can um, put an end to this unnecessary things or people, then your life just um how can i say speeding yeah speeding with here with the eight of wands you are speeding you gain speed you are quick your life is going to uh, be busy very dynamic and here you just time for yourself only and for um, to accomplish these ideas, these uh, goals of yours, 
you have to be alone with yourself you know you have to be alone with yourself because you um, will need time to think relax focus on the ideas these visions these plans you must have some alone time within this uh, healthy boundaries then i believe with this justice card here you got some kind of approval from the higher authorities yeah uh, whatever that is that project that um, <laughs> work of you <laughs> whatever that goal is you got approval from higher authorities maybe you from your boss your teacher your advisors any person that higher authority they have and i believe they will judge you <laughs> with this work um, they will ask questions um, they will see your work they criticize it and then you just pass the exam you just pass this uh, time of patience this time of hard working i believe and after that you are going to be also an authority <laughs> in your area in your field you are going to be some kind of authority figure people will look up to you yeah as your <laughs> message says right now you have hesitations because um, you have issues with self-confidence with self-love maybe self-worth but if you do this hard work your future self promise you you are going to be successful you are going to be this king of pentacles you are going to be a, a authority figure yeah i believe you will have that throne <laughs> you will have that um chair maybe it is about a job a raise a promotion maybe passing the exams maybe you are right now a phd candidate like this you are taking exams yeah yeah whatever that is project you are working on don't be afraid <laughs> you are going to be successful believe me and here i see the signs um taurus scorpio taurus again um sagittarius libra and the aries maybe these signs can be important for you maybe they are seasons they are months uh, or maybe if you have them in your birth chart in sun ascendant moon venus or mars this is also um, a confirmation <laughs> for you okay so this was your reading pile number two i hope you enjoyed the video please subscribe to my channel um, you can like the video and leave a comment below and if you feel like you can share this video with your friends with your loved ones so hope to see in your next readings take care of yourself bye welcome back pile number three so this is your letter and these are your oracle cards and we are also going to have some tarot cards yeah. your letter your deck is the most uh, how can i say most dark but uh, most ensuring deck in all of these you know this is different this deck is different you are different you are i believe um in the most difficult situation 
so before begin to read your letter uh, I can I must say how I wrote this I uh, draw these two cards and I channel to them while listening a focusing music then I just wrote the uh, words <laughs> you are telling me so don't pick up that cough this is a very interesting a very significant way to begin a letter very different don't pick up that calls let them ring and just ignore use your energy just for yourself for a while in order to heal process and achieve your goals rest should wait so this is like be selfish for the moment you know in order to heal yourself in order to uh, focus on yourself right now you can be maybe some kind of um, selfish <laughs> moment in the uh, for the sake of your self-love self-confidence Sometimes people around us just consume our energy and give nothing in return. Again, this is really interesting message. It is waste of time for the moment. Take care of yourself. You ended letter with this. This is like an um, notification, you know, like the alarm very interesting letter very different from the other decks because your uh, future self is telling listen me <laughs> listen to me in order to heal in order to uh, achieve your goals right now take care of yourself people are consuming your energy they are giving you nothing <laughs> very interesting very and here you can see the card rejuvenating brain clear the past heal the present moral i believe be your own first priority be your own first priority it is like um they are selling uh, they are telling you write your own destiny this is like your fate and you are uh, painting this into the wall you are healing yourself or you need to heal yourself and these cards are after the letter after i wrote the letter and this is also interesting because we are seeing here the grieving what happened to you did you lose someone Here you can see the butterfly, blue butterfly. It is also about transformation. And even if uh, you lost someone or something, that doesn't mean you should be in the dark right now. This rabbit here, can you see? In the dark, this is the most uh, black color in that card can you see that yeah and um, that rabbit here is very vulnerable you know that can um, there can be some kind of um, animals wild animals that want to eat this rabbit here we can see the full moon and here the tree and tree is like an insurance like a safe place that rabbit um, wants to go here I believe but here um, all of the field is uh, flat you know flat and if this is the field you cannot hide to go here you must take um, risk this is the case you must take risks but to clear the past 
You have to do that. I'm sorry. You have to do that. And I believe right now you can see your future. You can see in front of you. You know. You can't see because you are grieving. You are not happy. And I believe the people around you is about that grief. About that darkness. And your future self is saying, don't pick up that calls. Let them ring. Let them ring. And just ignore them. This is your um, exam. This is your moment of truth, I believe. So let's see your tarot cards. number three what are your future self is telling you pile number three the devil it is also the dark card this is very dark energy and i believe some toxic people or some vampire like people consuming your energy they are the devil they are the vampires they are the enemies of that rabbit and that rabbit is you. Ace of Wands. Mm, Knight of Swords. Two of Pentacles. Two of Cups finally <laughs> finally some good news and here we see the page of wands and you can see the also the tree here like this three three is here i believe in your reading a safe place a safe place your future your destiny your insurance yeah so also i see here the energies of capricorn fire energy gemini capricorn again cancerian and also here the fire element not specific zodiac signs but fire element maybe these signs can be important um like the season season of the signs maybe the month of them or maybe uh you have this in your birth child um birth chart maybe as your sun moon ascended venus mars i don't know if, and doesn't matter but here is the case Capricorn energy is about the Saturn energy and Saturn is all about the exams, discipline, heart lessons, heart truth of life. You are right now learning the life from a very difficult way. Life is not easy. I accept that your future self accept that but you are going to handle this with care and you are going to be successful here in the three of cups this is the good news you are celebrating something or even maybe some uh, very beautiful people very beautiful friends family members these are the good ones you know these are the good ones but whomever that is this devil energy is someone you must avoid you must cut your relations with this this is no good this is no good energy and i am saying this all of this <laughs> because of all of this you know not just for the devil card they are taking your energy your time or even maybe your money 
your sources and these sources right now essential for you you must give these sources to yourself the priority is you and to achieve that you must come with this idea with this want this ace of wands and here you can see the moon the new moon it is the begin of beginning of things the energy of beginnings and here you can see the valley and this is the way this is your way like this so this this is your way you must clear the air you must clear the past and to do this you must be uh, very intelligent very quick and maybe sometimes ruthless you know because when you are um, so much kind thoughtful merciful obviously some people are using this against you and they just don't give anything in return and um, universe is all about the balances of energies when you give something you rest you must receive something also and obviously you can't receive anything from these people or person <laughs> i don't know whatever that is maybe this is not a person but a um, failed project a failed company a failed job opportunity maybe, obviously it is not opportunity but maybe a failed occupation and if you feel like this is no good for me anymore this is no longer a good for me this is just taking my energy and gives me nothing in return and you have to stand for your um, power your strength here we see you in this sea you know in this sea pile two i was saying you are here but then my uh phone just <laughs> gone crazy i am recording this video from my phone and that just gone crazy so i was here um i was saying we are seeing you here this water um telling you us about your emotions the depth of your emotions and you are learning how to overcome these um, emotions you can see the water also here and water is all about our emotions our up and downs so i believe uh, in this one year you are going to be more strong with your emotions look at that woman just look at her she is fearless you know she is not like this rabbit that poor rabbit she is fearless she is strong and she manages to uh, stand up in that water in that sea and this is not a calm sea <laughs> as you can see the difficulty is um continue yes but you are more strong you are more strong and uh, once you manage this once you manage um, to face them and clear them you are healed and here you are celebrating these beautiful days with your closed ones with your loved ones with your uh, close friends family members and you are happy at the end of this story you are happy but for this you can just let another people consume your energy no this is not the way 
you must be that strong, that uh, resourceful, that, um, how can I say, persistent, you know, that persistent. This is the way to accomplish all of this story, pile number three. So this was your reading. I hope you enjoyed the reading. Um, and if you do, please subscribe to my channel. <laughs> um, you can like the video, leave a comment below, or you can share the video with the ones you love. So I hope to see you in another reading. Until then, take care of yourself. Bye.